praise him in here if you know it was the blood that saved you if you know that your face was on his mind when he went to the cross you want to shout like you've lost your mind you want to jump in your seat like you found some holy ghost in here you want to pick up your feet and dance in here if you know it was the blood Speaking to an apostolic church that understands who it was that went to the cross. You want to praise him like you know who it was on that cross. It was Jesus, the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. He was in the beginning with the Word, and the Word was with God. shouldn't be looking at me right now I didn't save you I didn't go to a cross and bleed out for you I didn't get nails in my hands for you I didn't get nails in my feet for you you want to be looking to the king that broke you out Praise break right here. One, two, one, two, ready. you more than a golf clap's worth of sin. I know God protected you from a, more than a golf clap worth of, worth of a world. Somebody needs to worship him. One, two,
Stop, stop, stop. Welcome to the party. Party. Hallelujah. Just one more time. Lift up your voice and thank the Lord. I've got all night. If you don't like praising them down here, you're going to have a rude awakening on the other side. 30 more seconds. One, two, one, two. I see you. I see you. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Wednesday morning, just finished the Devo, about to launch into band rehearsals, so we're rehearsing separate, and then I think after lunch we're coming together, first with singers and band. Travis vlogging. Hey, I'm Kurt, I'm the guy from the Daniel Bernard videos. This is the guy right here. Uh, Daniel, I just wanted to come over and say that Daniel just spoke to the, the band people. Let me get Travis in the back of my shot so he could be washed out. There you go. And um, it was pretty incredible. Just wanted to tell them thanks for imparting on us. You have something on the front of your lens, too. Sorry. Um, it was awesome job. Wasn't it, Travis? What Daniel talked about, wasn't it good? Yeah, oh, you've got to affirm me on my blog yeah, right here. It was great. It was amazing. All right, that's yeah, actually for me. That's <laughs> out of here. Huh? Kurt's kind of bougie, so he got his own yeah, piano oh, really? stand. Because he's not happy with the one he got. <laughs> Kurt had to get a new piano stand, or is this a stack? That's dirty, man. Get up This doesn't always happen, you know. But like sometimes we like there's merch for like the artists or whoever we're playing for. There is a uh, like we we. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, Daniel's over here. Vlogging, vlogging me vlogging. <laughs> Our channels are looking at each other right now, dude. They are, they're looking right at each other. Wow. I like that mic you got there, brother. You know. What's up, world? This is Ashton. Tell us a little bit about yourself, dude. Uh, I'm 13. I drum in Marysville at New Destiny, and I love YouTube. Sweet. Yeah. So this guy's 13 year old drummer, and his dream kit right now is an Armory kit. So he's here hanging out, he got the band pass, so he kind of gets a, like, backstage slash just kind of hanging out with us for the week, so good to have him here. So now he's in the vlog. Anything you want to tell the subscribers? Uh, comment, share, and like. There you go, bro. You know what's up. and family 
It's uh, 11 o'clock on Wednesday. We just finished a full day rehearsal schedule. Where this is sponsored by, this vlog is sponsored by the Convo. Yeah. The Convo with Kurt and Colton. Check it out, I'll link it in the description below. Um, but I'm here with Kurt who is playing keys and then producing um, the album and also I guess like producing even more like you're you know managing schedules and all that kind of stuff so I guess that's producing yeah. right just that's falls under the line of producer so um, I wanted to ask you a couple questions Kurt because I know you guys you know want to know uh, what happens like at a live recording we're here for a week so what do we do but first of all you know um, I guess for an aspiring musician you know if you want to play on albums or you know records obviously um, you know, a good question to ask is, you know, how do I do that? What what's some qualities in like a musician you look for? So I guess question is like, how do you go about building like building the band? What do you decide on first? What pieces? And then like, what do you look for? Um, you know, like in instruments, you know, or like styles of people or whatever. Okay. Well, I think the answer to that would be while I'm building a band. I guess I look at the direction that the album's going. Like, so if it's going to be like gospel, more contemporary. Or something like that. Um, I try to get people that that would play to their strength. I guess. Yeah. Um, so I guess the answer to that would be: the more versatile you are, the more chances you have to be um, in something. Specifically, when I was choosing this band, um, you know, it's very gospel, but it has a lot of you know CCM moments as well. So you know, when I was picking the band, I knew you know Colton was going to mm -hmm. be my guitar player, I found that Colton and Brett complement each other really well. Yeah. Um, play ideas, you know, Travis, I think every album I've done, Travis has been on it. Yeah. Um, so I did that. Then, when I was looking at drummers, uh, you know, we did Quartz Record together. Mm. Um, We've done a lot of AYCs, a lot of bots, yeah. you know. So I, our familiarity. Sure. I knew that you were going to be prepared high energy you know like stuff that, that good retention a lot of stuff like that um that was one of the main reasons that i picked you uh what was what was the other question yeah i mean that's pretty much it like go about picking yeah. picking a band for that <clears throat> yeah. um, i think a big part of it that a lot of people don't think about is like we're here for a week basically mm -hmm from sun up to sundown. Yeah. So you want to also work with people that have good positive attitudes. You know, a lot of time in rehearsals it can be frustrating cuz you're trying to remember so much yeah. and you don't want to be like arguing with people or getting on people's nerves, yeah. you know. We still got to minister together in a few days. We don't want to be like enemies by then. So yeah. that has a lot to do with it. I think that's a great point too because we also have a have to have a super high level of trust I feel like because for instance, tonight we did um you know, we we've kind of gone through all the songs and then we tracked with the vocals yeah. and like I messed up, you know, tonight a lot. Well, if I didn't have a like a layer of trust with the band, like I'm not gonna lose sleep over that because yeah. everyone knows like ah oh, we'll get it or whatever. Right. So if you don't, if there's not that trust factor, then the whole time you're feeling insecure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, like oh I can't, you know, they're gonna go back and listen and be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you missed that. Right. But then that just destroys chemistry. That destroys right. you know whatever. But you know, so one thing like you know about a live recording, a lot of times why it's so important to to critically listen to material and then be able to create as well because to me like going from like what we have like demos to final product is yeah. so much different than just like covering your song right right because we got demos but uh they're not like finished out I and mean, yeah. we changed the whole thing so like that was another question drums. yeah that was another question i was going to ask is like you know for for a live recording like this how do you approach you know demos and then like what happens like the week like we're here for a week what are we doing like if someone's you know like hey what's even happening a live recording like you know what does a demo look like or sound like and then like what do we do this week you know okay so like with this project in in particular i met with mark first he showed me probably 30 songs yeah you know i went through and i was like hey these 13 could possibly make a good record and then we weeded them down some more to 10. i then got with a few musicians and we demoed like five mm -hmm. and then i demoed five by myself where i played the piano key bass key drums so you know the demos were at like different levels of completion so then we what we're doing here this week is taking that and interpreting it um you know your style your ideas involved with whatever i had 
you know, just developing basically taking these ideas and turning them into like basically worship moments. Or, yeah. You know. Yeah. So. I think that's also a really big part of, um, at least for me, like musical maturity is like the ability, like find your spots and really again, create because yeah. like a lot of the drum references, I basically was like, okay, I'm going to scrap all of that. Yeah. You know, so having to trust that, you know, I'm going to come in and bring, cause you know, obviously coming from a drummer's perspective, like drums and bass, control the whole dynamic of the song. So right. if I pick a groove that's like, doesn't really fit, then either Kurt's being like, okay, well, no, uh, let's try this. But like, he doesn't need to be doing that. Like, I, you know, I'm here and, you know, Travis, we're like drums and bass work together a lot. So we're like trying out kick and, right. you know, bass patterns and different stuff. And then, so yeah, that's what's, I love that process. But so yeah, basically like we, you know, go, we've gone through every song, um, like individually, tracked it and then we went with all the vocals and tracked it again so now in this process we got tomorrow which we're doing like pre-dubs tomorrow too right in the night yeah so we're um going back through and combing through all the material and then actually starting to get tracks so you know best case scenario is on a live recording obviously use everything that you can live and drums are like one of the biggest things right because you know drums are going to be bleeding into the vocal mic so when i leave friday i'm done right you know i'm not coming back and like trying to track everything now Kurt, you know, if there's something on the piano he wants to change, like it's not the end of the world, he can come back and do an overdub. Um, but so we're doing pre-dubs where, you know, you could theoretically change a drum take if you needed to, mm-hmm. depending on like, um, I guess it's ghosting, right? Like how much of the drums are in the, you know, the vocals. But drums, especially the live album, is probably the, the hardest thing to make sure you get right uh, in, some, in some instances. So, you know, we're getting all those tracks. Like for me right now, like everything's kind of fuzzy. Like I got to go back through and like just listen to everything and get all because you know we made massive changes from the demos. Right. So it's a fun process, but it's definitely grueling. Also, too, like simple things like hydration become actually like massively important things. Like you know, man, I think it's a big deal. But for me, I'm like eating bananas by the truckload, keep my hands from cramping, tons of water, manage your energy because you know we're going from like nine a.m. to you know, 10 p.m. or like 5 a.m. These guys up talking and going through stuff and whatever. So that's also like just a huge factor. It's again, like a grueling schedule. It's a grueling rehearsal yeah. schedule. So, but it's fun. Yeah, one of the things you mentioned was like finding your spots. That's really important. We have, what, seven people in the band? Mm-hmm. So like, you know, it's seven people trying to find a lane and yeah. playing parts and that's really important. You know, you're playing Matt Ewing's on this record and he's like yeah. playing Mars chords. He's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, organ on this record is going to be yeah. ridiculous. And he'll probably not have to do any overdubs. It's funny because uh, a lot of people are surprised by how hard you're smashing this record. Like, people have came to me and said, like, wow, Daniel's really... Because it's super gospel. I think every, most of the stuff on your channel is... Yeah, it doesn't call for that very much. Yeah. yeah that's and then funny. even when it's gospel, it's like church gospel, so mm-hmm. it's not really like this, you know? Yeah. It's definitely a fun... There's lots of, there's lots of great stuff on here. Yeah. Look out so, for it. It's going to be good. This guy. No. He's just saying that because he's on my vlog. No, I'm serious. Cool. Well, thanks, bro. Yeah. He's not on uh, YouTube. No. But he's on Instagram. I am. Uh, and he's also... Give me your Instagram handle. My Instagram handle is Kurt Kanhai. K-U-R-T-K-A-N-H-A-I. I'm actually like five people away from 2,000. Sick. So Let's get him over 2,000. <laughs> and then go follow the convo it's on your favorite whatever your favorite podcast platform yeah. is apple podcasts yeah. spotify right it's all that stuff so check it out there's lots of great content they talk about life uh music here you go the convo yeah they talk about life music stuff Reality. um yeah all kinds of stuff so it's good but yeah this is end of wednesday night we'll be back at it in the morning combing through all of our material and then starting tracking probably after lunch and then Friday's a big day, so yeah. it's going to be fun. We'll see you on the morning.
up guys, Thursday morning. Uh, it's 11 o'clock, Thursday mid-morning. Um, we're picking through lines, did the Devo, and I've been talking through like songs today. So we are um, kind of like making sure all of our stuff is correct and we've got our special spots locked in. And then we're gonna do like a full run through at 3 p.m. to get like an audio capture and then another full run through after dinner like suited up for video to get b-roll of the band and then that way we'll have like two full captures and then we'll come back tomorrow so getting to work Just finished, a little better, just finished rehearsal. Um, it's 5.20 Thursday night, so we are going to go change um, and coming back and we're gonna be like in full clothes, uh, same clothes we're gonna wear tomorrow night because the video crew is gonna get like band shots. So they're gonna be all like in the drum cage where they're not gonna be maybe tomorrow night. And we're also gonna get a full take of like pre-dubs for audio. That way, you know, if we have a take that looks better from the pre-dubs, we can, you know, splice some stuff in or use it if we need to. So. Um, yeah, not a whole lot to report because we was just going over the material. So uh, it's been a good day, grueling. My hands are getting a little tired, but just trying to conserve my energy. Eat lots of bananas to keep lactic acid out of my hands and keep my hands nice and loose. Uh, tons of water. Two two tips. Tons of water. Eat bananas. So yeah, we're gonna go change, and we'll be back in a little bit. All right, it's recording day today. Um, we got to sleep a little bit, so we're actually it's 1:30. We're getting started. Um, so we're gonna do sound check. So that recording and uh, sound can kind of get some things locked. Then we're gonna have a break, uh, like a long break today, and then come back and get a quick sound check and then record. So it's kind of a you kind of try to find an interesting balance of like not overplaying the material because if you just play it, you know, too much, it gets stale. Then like the ideas, creative ideas aren't really flowing. So we're kind of finding that balance of not overcooking it. So this should be a good day though.
how you feel about this. Alright guys, that's a wrap for the album, for the concert for the night. Um, everything went really good. Hey, this is Jordan Die. This guy right here just smashed this concert. Front of house, ears, and also working some with the like recording views on the other end. He has an audio company though, does installs, no. run sound. He doesn't like installs? I hate it. He doesn't installs. like installs. Run sound. Ugh. It's Die Audio, yeah. Instagram. Yep. Die Audio, check him out. Sicko front of house, did a killer smashed. job. It's a pleasure. Yeah, on the, what do you mean? On the screen? How did you get that foot? What do you mean? This is a different camera. It's a Sony. Oh. Y'all know this guy. What's up? T-Ring. My guy. It's been a minute. He did lights and crushed it. The lighting design everything was killer. Looked great. So, y'all will see some footage. Look forward to it. Look, looking forward. I tried to get him to post more on YouTube. He doesn't, won't do it though. Listen, I won't have, do it. I have really good intentions. That's about it. He won't do it. <laughs> Get in. Get your home computer. I'm gonna go over here and shove a camera in Mark's face. He's talking to someone. So I don't want to bother him. Look, this is a guy you have heard many times, but don't know it. This is Matt Ewing. Actually, I got some footage of you. They're gonna see it on organ. Incredible organ player, better friend. 
We got to room together this week, so that was fun. Enjoyed it, and he killed. Can't wait to hear his organ tracks on this record. It's going to be awesome. So. This is the guy right here, the man of the hour, <laughs> Mark Crowder. Man, I tell you what, it. Brother Bernard tore the set up. If you don't go share this with like a thousand friends, you're doing something wrong. So, we, we finished the album. Um, I'm not going to nail him down to a projected date, but he's on Instagram, Mark Crowder Worship, yes. right? On Instagram, so look, and this is an album that's going to be coming out, Faith Over Fear. Make sure to follow him for more updates on like release date and everything, but... I mean, this week has been absolutely incredible. You guys have seen that at this point. Um, lots of work went into this. The arrangements have been incredible. Great move of God tonight. And I'm looking forward to the album release. So be on the lookout, Faith Over Fear, and make sure to follow him. Anything else on social media, Instagram, you on Facebook, Mark Yeah, Crowder. I'm on all of it. Mark yeah. Crowder Worship, just find me. Yep. It's, I'm out there, so I'd yep. love to see you guys awesome. connect, and we'll do it. Cool. Thanks, man. Thanks for letting me a part. Absolutely. He killed it tonight. Woo! It was awesome. Awesome. So yeah, just a couple more things. The wife, she rarely makes appearances on here, but she's really the reason. She surprised me. She flew up. I did. She was supposed to be at home, and she surprised me. So I did. My secret weapon. I did. I surprised him. He so, didn't even know. Yep. Hey, this is the guy right here, What's Shannon. Up, gang? Uh, oh, just launched Don Pictures. That's right. So he's on Instagram. Uh, I need to get. I'm making him to try to release some footage to me for you guys to see some preview. It was great, courtesy of Don Footage, dude. Um, Don Pictures. But yeah, so look him up. If you want to do a video production, you want to actually do it for real. He's on Instagram, Don Pictures, Facebook, yeah. Don Pictures. Yeah, Don Pictures. Look him up. I'm trying to get this auto focus to go. There you go. Once, that, it, once, it, once it grabs your eye, it'll it'll be there. All right. So hey, yeah, did great. Tonight. It was awesome, bro. Great job. Good. So yeah, Cruz just turned down. Uh, sorry, I haven't really been able to do as much footage as I normally do. Honestly, it's just been crazy, crazy days, 12-hour days and stuff. So I've been so locked in, I just honestly haven't. But if you want to, Travis, let's go talk to Travis. Travis has recorded tons and tons of footage. So make sure to follow Travis. I'm putting Travis on. So Travis has done a much better job this week of chronicling everything <laughs> happening. So... <laughs> Follow him. Is it just Travis Dykes on YouTube? Yeah, just Dykes? Travis Dykes. Look at if you're not already following him, you're playing yourself. Oh, but look him up, gosh. Travis Dykes. He's got tons of great footage. So if you want more footage, Travis has got lots of interviews, lots of great stuff. So, and uh, he smashed tonight. Just FYI, drummers, bass players. The most important relationship on stage is drums and bass. Like you guys have to be locked. So literally having a close personal relationship translates so well on the stage. So that's a little about playing with Travis. Is we're great friends. And he smashed tonight, bro. He hey, killed it tonight. This so guy it was smashed awesome. it tonight. Y'all, I, I hope he posts all the videos for yeah. tonight because he's going to be sick. Oh, my gosh. But uh, had a great time. <laughs> so, again, you want more content, make sure to subscribe to Travis. He's got tons of vlogs uh, from this week. So, oh my gosh. it's been fun. Y'all follow him. Continue. <laughs> Con continue. Continue. So, yeah, I think that's most everybody. You haven't got to talk to Kurt, but I already did an interview with him. So, you got to see all that. But, yeah. I'm gonna go pack up the rest of my stuff. Oh, I need to show you. Uh, so I got a care package from Peisty, and they sent me some great stuff. Let me show you. Um, you know, I'm gonna get Lewis. Hey, can you come film? I need to talk about Peisty, and them sending me the symbols. I thought he wanted me to be on the vlog, but oh, this is Lewis Pacheco. Y'all know him. I don't even gotta talk. They know who you are. <laughs> Let's go. Shout out to Javier over at Peisty. I hit him up and said, hey, man, I'm going to be in the uh, Ohio area doing a live recording and asked him, you know, if they could send some stuff out. Uh, my symbol bag, I don't like carrying it like a 50-pound bag, so I only like 35 pounds. So they sent me a care package, show you the stuff they sent. So I have 20-inch PSTX Swish Medium Crash, which is great. Uh, these are my hats. They sent out a reflector splash, like a 10 inch signature reflector splash. Then they sent out um, a uh, 18 inch master, which y'all familiar with, but I just didn't fly with mine. So they sent one out for me. And then also sent out an 18 inch mellow crash, which I have at home, but again, I just didn't want to fly with it. So they sent that out. And then probably the, my favorite thing that I use the most that's in there is uh, 
they sent a pair of 15 inch Masters Dark Cats, which are definitely going to be the next thing I add to my setup. So the Masters Dark Cats were killer. I used those on the whole album. Um, they just seemed to sit better in the mix for the stuff we were playing versus my uh, Modern Essentials hat. So that was great. So thank you, Javier and Paiste, for that. It was incredible. But um, we'll break down a couple more things and then we're going to be out of here. So see you guys later.